All right, this is going to be a full tutorial on how to set up modding for Madden 24 on PC. Before we get started, um, get the elephant out of the room. You cannot do this on console. You're going to need a purchase copy of Madden 24 through EA Desktop or Steam. You can also use Epic Games, but keep in mind that most of us don't use Epic. So if you have platform specific issues while setting up, we can't really help you there. Once you've got that all set up, you're going to go to the Madden Modding Discord, which I have linked in the description. You're going to go to this Read This First Start Here section. Scroll on down to Install Download Guide Tutorials. And click to On This First in Post. Once you're here, there's going to be a few files that you're going to need. Uh, the first thing that everybody's going to need is Madden Spark. So in Madden 24, they added an anti-cheat due to adding crossplay. So Madden Spark is basically what we use to be able to mod with that in mind. Now, for these two uh, things down here, there's the editor and the mod manager. The vast majority of you are only going to need the mod manager. This lets you load in your mods and play. But for those who want to actually make mods, you can grab the editor as well. Now, downloading the editor and the mod manager, just double click uh, the, the download buttons here. Very simple. Uh, but for Spark, it, it's a little more complicated. You see, Spark is going to get marked as a virus when you download it. It's not a virus, but you'll have to decide if you trust us on that or not. So the proper way to install it to avoid any issues, I'll show you here. Now, I've, I've already done some of this, but I'll still show you all the steps. You're going to go down to your search bar, search antivirus, and go to this virus and threat protection. Keep in mind that if you're using something specific like Norden, you're going to have to look up how to do these same things. Uh, once you're here, you're going to go to manage settings. And you're going to temporarily turn off real-time protection. The reason that we're doing this, as Windows doesn't really like it, the reason that we're doing this is so that when we download Spark, it doesn't just immediately uh, uh, remove our files, right? Um, because it'll do that if it thinks it's dangerous. So once you've turned off real-time protection, then you can safely download this Madden Spark zip file, which I believe I've already got. Um, and once you do that, you're going to open up the zip file and you're going to, uh, to unzip it, just simply click back and uh, click extract. Now, a shocking amount of you actually don't know how to unzip files, so I'm also going to link 7-zip in the description. Um, and j then just download it and follow what I do exactly, and you'll be fine. So as you can see, I've unzipped it. There's going to be some files in here. There's going to be this optional resources folder. This just installs some fonts. Uh, do this if you would like to. You just open it up and click install takes like two seconds. Now, now that we have that handled, we're going to go back into our antivirus. Uh, and before we can turn this back on, we have to add a couple exclusions. Now, I've already done this, but you can see what they're supposed to look like. So first, you need to add an exclusion for your entire Madden Spark folder. So if I was going to do this again, I would click add exclusion folder, and then I would go to wherever it's installed. I would click on it, and I would just click select folder. That's how you get that. And you're also going to need to make one for your Madden 24 game folder. The reason you need to do this is because Madden Spark interacts with the game folder. So you just want to be safe, basically. Um, so wherever it's installed for you. For me, it's in Program Files, EA Games, Madden 24. Once you've done this properly, you can go back and turn real-time protection back on. And we can exit out of here. We're done with that. So now we've got Spark set up. Now, when you go to actually open it, um, if it's your first time or if you, you know, if it's a new computer for you, like it is here for me, uh, it's not going to ask me now because I've already done it, but it might ask you uh, to download a new net version for this to work properly. If it does, just click yes, and then it will download this uh, exe setup file, uh, which you're then just going to click and just click install, and it'll handle it all for you. It's very simple. Once you've got that handled, you can launch Spark. Just click yes, and you can see what it looks like here. Now, obviously, we still need to set up the mod manager, but basically all you do in Spark is open it up and click activate mods before you mod the game. It's, it's very simple. I'm going to temporarily click restore base game. Move this over. Now for the mod manager. Uh, as you see, we have the zip file here. We're going to open it up. And to unzip this, literally just drag it out. And once you do that, you can go in here and to uh, launch it, you're going to, very important, right-click it, run as administrator. This will help you avoid some issues. 
it's going to take a second to open. Uh, and once we've got this open and set up, okay, so this is actually good that this happens. Sometimes you're going to see multiple uh, icons here. Um, I, I don't know why this happens, but I just click the first one. We'll see if we get any issues, but we shouldn't. Okay, now obviously we need a mod to test with. So we're going to go back into the Discord. There's a few places that you can download mods. There's the Madden 24 Community Mods channel, uh, where you can find all different types of mods. And there's also the Madden Modding Community Team Mods uh, section. This is the more official mods, you know, the gameplay mod, the start today mod, college mod, whatever, whatever you want. Uh, but we're going to use a basic mod for our testing. We're going to use this. Uh, well, actually, I've already got it over here. We're going to use this Geno Smith Signature Cover Athlete mod. I'm going to download that. I'll take a second. Once that finishes, we're going to go to the mod manager. I've already got it added here, but I'm going to remove it to show you. Um, you're going to click on Add Mods. Click on the FB mod file. Very important. Uh, only FB mod files go into Frosty. A lot of times people will try to put roster files or franchise files into the Frosty mod manager. Can't do that. Once you've uh, put it in, you're going to double click it to apply. Click on the description to see what it does. Click on the actions to see what it modifies. And once you've done that, in order to actually launch the game modded, you're going to go back to Spark and click on Activate Mods. A lot of times people just forget to do this, and then they click on Launch, and then they get a crash dump error and wonder what happened. Always make sure to remember to do this. Now, before you do any of this, I meant to mention this earlier. This, all of this assumes that you've launched the base game at least one time before. If you've never done it before, like if you just installed the game and you try to do all this immediately, you're going to have some problems. Probably should have mentioned that before. Now to launch, there's, there's actually two launch buttons. There's launch and delete mod data and launch. Usually you can just use launch, but if you're having problems or if you're downloading a bunch of new mods, like if you're updating a bunch of them, you can run delete mod data and launch as well. Either is okay in this specific case though. So we're going to click launch. It's going to say preparing game. It's going to give us this window saying that the game, the window will stay open until you close the game. I'm going to very quickly turn down the Madden volume because it's very loud for me. You're going to get this black screen that will last for 10 to 15 seconds. Once it goes away, uh, there should be a Geno Smith splash screen. It's showing up for me, but it's not showing up for you. Um, I don't know why, but we'll be able to see um, the other changes in a second. The first change is going to be that they replaced the press start video, as you can see, for Geno Smith. Now, when you click OK, you're going to see this account error message. It's going to say you don't meet the minimum requirements to access EA's online or whatever. This is OK. This is actually very good. That means that you've launched modded successfully, as you can see, the Geno Smith cover athlete there. Didn't mention this before, but yes, Spark forces you to launch offline. This is to avoid issues with the anti-cheat and to prevent users from abusing, you know, mods to cheat online. So that does mean that certain modes like Cloud Franchise and Superstar Mode, and obviously MUD, are unavailable when modding. It, it is what it is. But in either case, we can see that this has worked properly and that our mods are working. So I'm going to close out of Madden. Once you close out of Madden, this window will disappear. And you can see here, it just goes right back to base game. It takes two seconds. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, if you're having specific issues, if you followed everything I did and it's like, okay, it's just not working, come back to the Discord. Come to this uh, frequently asked questions section under install download guide tutorials. Go through this. See if, you know, your issue's here, if it's been resolved. But if it hasn't, you can come to this troubleshooting help section and make a post. If you're going to make a post, you need to click on this pinned post. Scroll up to the top. You have to follow this template when making a post. Literally, like, copy-paste this into your post and answer each question. If you do not do this, your post will be removed and you will not be assisted. Just wanted to, you know, make that clear. Uh, but that's, that's basically it. Um, and hopefully this worked for all of you, and thank you all for watching.